Hello everyone, this is Dr. Praveen Tripathi and with me is Dr. Sparsar and both of us are very happy to welcome Dr. Sanskriti who Hello, got sir. 125 in the NEET PG exam. So Sanskriti, many, many congratulations first of all. Thank you so much. Good evening to all viewers and it is indeed a pleasure as Praveen sir made a mention of interviewing yet another topper, Dr. Sanskriti with a magnanimous rank of 1 to 5. How is the feeling Sanskriti? Yes, it took two days for it to sink in, but finally I've accepted it. Uh, the day the results came out, I was in utter disbelief. Uh, the next day, in fact, I also checked the result again after waking up, waking up ki ha, wahi PDF hai na wo site pe. So yeah, after that, yeah, now I'm finally happy and I'm finally accepted ki ha, yes. I think this that is happiness result. is actually glowing on your face as well. Many <laughs> congratulations to you and your family members. Thank you. Thank so you. We so would much. just like you to talk about yourself as to which college have you graduated from, Sanskriti, and was what was the, this attempt of yours? Can you just let uh, me know? Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, I have studied in SRTR Government Medical College, Ambazogai, in Maharashtra, and this was my first attempt. So I'm from Bash 2018. Wonderful. Yes. And when was the time that you actually got a cerebellum subscription, Sanskriti? Uh, around um, November, December. Sorry. Okay. Yes. So, Sanskriti, you were telling that uh, you have been uh, you know, preparing for the NEET PG prep, uh, exam properly, but uh, later on you changed to cerebellum because you felt that we can uh, you know, get a more concise yes. uh, score that can be revised. So, yes. so the question that we were having uh, before the interview. So, what, yes. what exactly made you, you know, uh, make this switch? Uh, the first thing which attracted me was BTR. I have never seen something so concise and like literally revising a subject in 10, 15, 20 pages was something I never imagined. So that was what actually attracted me first. And then I decided ki, uh, I'll buy the entire Cerebellum uh, subscription because I wanted to watch the mission videos also and the ENDs. And um, yes, I used uh, to, so should I talk about BTR first? Then yeah, yeah, please, please. Yeah, yeah, please. So uh, I am an, I'm a big fan of ma'am's teaching, uh, like, uh, her like BTR is a game changer seriously like um, I had never expected it to boost my rank so much because it be and BTR is not just BTR plus BBTR which are the videos it's an amalgamation of a lot of things so compiled modules hai, then there is mega BTR there is uh, there are ENDs which are uh, absolute game changers so the the ENDs like I didn't did not have that much of time so I was not able to give all the ENDs live so I used to directly start watching the videos and then I used to pause before every question and then try to like solve it in my head okay huh, this might be the answer and then I used to just uh, like listen to what ma'am has to say so in that I saved a lot of time uh, and then the compiled modules are something which I revised even uh, the uh, on the last day before the exam uh, because formulae, scores, graphs, these are things which are very volatile and it's very difficult to revise all of these from like the different subjects. So she had done all of that work for us. So yeah, it, like utna to hamara first thai ki hum wo ek din pehle revise kare. So yeah, uh, compiled modules, ENDs and yes, now coming to cerebellum. Uh, I used to watch the mission classes uh, before June 23rd ka jo exam tha, uske pehle jo classes the wo maine dekhe the. Uh, and I used to give the GTs. Uh, even the GT, uh, which was heavily PYT based, just 10 days before the exam also, I'd given that. And yeah, uh, I like I was a bit skeptical of giving uh, GTs just 10 days, 7 days before the exam. But because it was PYT based, it hugely boosted my confidence. And yeah, finally, I felt ki, okay, yeah, even I can get a good rank. So um, yeah, and I would like to tell that People think PYQs are important, but more than PYQs, PYTs are important. Because if you just solve PYQs, you tend to have a PYQ bias. Like you tend to buy hard them, which is uh, like, it's it's very dangerous. Because if a similar question comes in the exam, you'll be like, okay, yeah, I've solved this question so many times. This guy, yeah, answer. Hoga. And which is, it's actually twisted a bit and you don't know. You don't realize that until after the exam. So, yeah, and um, with ENDs, I was about uh, like, I could, uh, like, you know, I could learn how to solve long stem questions because I gave shift to paper, which was uh, like, it had a lot of long stem questions and a lot of confusing questions. So, like, because of solving ENDs and like learning the approach, uh, I could actually like understand what they're trying to say, like what they want us to, uh, like they, what they want us to answer. Right. So, um, yeah, so ENDs. But a real game changer for me.
and what about the mcq practice we were discussing about uh, the late night pyqs did, did those help right. you right yes yes definitely i used to try to give most of them live mm -hmm. but if if it was not possible i used to give them in the morning mm -hmm. and uh, then i used to just submit the test directly and just go through the pyqs fast so as to save time so sometimes i used to do the 42 minute slot so that i got a practice of that also and also i could just go through the questions fast Yes. And Sanskriti, uh, what would be the role of uh, a lot of these things that people like Praveen sir keep on doing regular sessions, right? The, the healing sessions, as I call them. Zaina ma'am yes, does yes, it. Yes, yes. Apoor sir yes. does it. Gobind sir does yes. it a lot. Right? Yes. So, uh, do you think that does make an influence or that does affect definitely. your performance in the exam? Yes, yes. Yes, yes, definitely. I have uh, watched uh, uh, Mehra sir's uh, Monday Motivation. Like, even those two, three minute videos, like, they used to give... Like, you know, itna hope de de the wo, ki haan, okay, yeah, there are people with us, teachers know what we're going through and this is not something which we only are going through. This is, everyone is going through this and we can, like, you know, we can uh, succeed. It's it's not a big deal. So it's that collective feeling that all of us are in this together. Yes. And uh, right. there is right. a feeling of somebody hand-holding us and guiding yes. us for the proper yes. exams, right? Yes, yes. Especially because of the timetable Cerebellum used to always make. Because every time the exam got postponed, we were like shocked, okay, abhi kya karna hai? Because we've already finished a revision and then, okay, iske baad abhi kaise karna hai? Should we start revising again? Should we start, solve more questions? So like the timetable given by uh, like Cerebellum used to keep us on track, ki, okay, haan, ye karna hai. Uh, aise karna hai. So yeah, it, it really felt like I wasn't alone. So yeah, that helped a lot. I think the man and, you see uh, on the screen is one of the major contributors to this particular decision of ours. Yes. And he himself being a, you know, renowned mental health expert and a top psychiatrist, he was a pioneer in uh, devising all those things. Even though right. at times I as a faculty used to perhaps complain about the fact that how many times will you study? But right. this is exactly what he palpated. The right. emotion yes. in the students with respect to the fact that this is what they must be going through. You know, yes. every postponement is actually a, it takes a toll on you, no matter wherever yes. you are. So yes. used to come up with uh, those wonderful schedules and then obviously you used to do a lot of brainstorming. And then yes. come up with a revised schedule and I think that has been taken up very well by most of the people. Yes. And sir always used to say that you have to take your preparation to the last day. I've watched his videos on YouTube and that has really resonated because there were days when I used to feel like Abhi, kuch nahi ho I used to feel extremely like sad. But then just watching his video, I used to be like, okay, yeah, you have to push through, you have to get through this. Yeah. And one thing I wanted to talk about was mindset. This is often overlooked by students. Uh, it was overlooked by even like even I didn't realize its importance because I used to think, okay, if you've studied well, then your mindset will be very good on the day of the exam. But on the day of the exam, also in the morning, I was extremely, uh, I, I panicked a lot. I didn't, I wasn't able to study. So, um, but then my parents and my friends, they consoled me. And when I went into the exam hall, when I sat in front of that computer, I just envisioned what I wanted to do in life, what I want, imagine myself uh, doing. And yeah, that helped me stay calm. There, uh, like, uh, I gave the evening shift, and in that, like, there was one set, the second set, which I found really difficult. Uh, so um, then I, like, I was, pa I started panicking a bit, but then I was like, okay, I'm not going to let this affect me because I have three more sets to go, and I can't, aff I can't let this affect, like, because, uh, like, the thing is, ki you have studied so much, but in those three and a half hours, it, it matters what you do in those three and a half hours because the pain of uh, regret is more than the pain of failure. If you Absolutely. like, because you've studied so much, and if you know, if you've not studied, then it's okay. But if you've studied and then you're not able to get that question correct, that what that's what hurts the most. So I had like decided, ki okay, I'll I'll not let this affect uh, my uh, like my exam, and yeah, so. I really want to tell uh, everyone watching this video that along with studies, your mindset on that day and the the days before that leading up to the exam day is very important. Like I myself also had a breakdown on that day. It's, it's perfectly all right. But still, I got through that exam and you can too. That's very nicely summarized, uh, Sanskriti. Uh, wonderfully said. So, uh, Session two was difficult, and as you said that you know, in, in, in during the session you were panicking, but yes. but being able to you know have a, a self a, a positive self talk with yourself is what helps a lot. So so first that's a very important point that you know whatever you do till the time you are entering the exam hall is important, but what you do in those three hours is also very important. And sir, you have had like 30-40 interviews in the last three four days. 
I believe that one thing that Cerebellum has been able to do very well is to, to develop that community feeling. I mean, every single student we talk to says the same thing that, you know, Cerebellum would come up with the plan, Cerebellum would come up with the plan. And I mean, uh, I mean, while doing all those things, maybe we do not uh, 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 realize it, but those things actually help the students so much. So, absolutely, so, absolutely. Yes. In fact, I was talking to a lot of these people when we are having an interaction with them in the live sessions as well. Mm. There are a lot of people who were joining in with pseudonyms, right? right. Maybe yeah. people for their own reasons don't wish to disclose their identity. Mm-hmm. But it was almost a situation wherein everybody knew the names, mm-hmm. especially mm-hmm. for the people who are having a you know better response rate. Right. And uh, it is indeed a pleasure to know that most of the people have been able to crack the exam with flying colors. Right. So uh, I think any kind of an effort, I mean, this is kind of, uh, I would say, a validation for all the efforts which have been put by the complete team. Complete. It's not about the students and the faculty only. There are a lot of people who are involved, you know, thinking about things, coming up with new ideas, executing them well. Mm-hmm. Right. And it feels so very satisfying when we have conversations like this. Right, sir. So it is not about, uh, you know, uh, somebody who happens to be a topper somebody, or uh, as she rightly made a mention of that the mindset thing is again or people echoing what you have been telling them all throughout. So right. culmination of the efforts of a lot of people actually is what is going to be making, uh, you know, success all the more sweeter. So Sanskriti, there are many students who today are dejected. They are feeling sad. They are having self-doubts that probably this is not for me. And, uh, you know, probably the mindset that you were in when you were finding it difficult to, you know, crack those questions or answer those questions, they are in that frame of mind. So what is your advice to them? What is your advice to all your colleagues, all your juniors who today don't think they can crack it? Sir, it's just an exam at the end of the day. It's, it's, you should just treat it as an exam. If you start treating it as your life, then you'll like always have a fear and you'll never be able to conquer it. So I just want to tell that, uh, this was my internship attempt and for the first three, four months, I was extremely busy with major postings and did not get enough time. Like I hardly used to study for three, four hours, but mm-hmm. then later on I picked up pace. So it is, it is possible. Mm-hmm. Uh, and especially this time because the exam got postponed, uh, like it, we were all like very sad and like, it was very difficult to you know, start studying again. But like, if something like that happens, you should just. Uh, like you know realize ki, okay I've gotten um, like I've, I got more time than I'd anticipated and if I don't use this well right now then what is the point like I'll regret this so yeah I want to tell everyone else ki, I hope nothing like this happens like your exam happens uh, like on the day they tell it's going to happen but even if something like this happens you should like not feel sad okay one or two days it's okay to just take a break and relax but yeah, you should uh, think of the bigger picture because ye to hote hi rehne wala hai and like for uh, in a profession like ours, so this is a, an everyday battle for us. So yeah, just keep going on. Just Focus keep on the control levels. Don't spend time over things that are beyond your control is what right. Sanskriti is trying to say. Yes. Right. So thank you, Sanskriti. Uh, Sparsal, do you want to ask any other thing? Ye party kab de rahi hai <laughs> what branch are you planning to join? Which branch are you planning to join? Uh, surgery. Very nice. Very nice. Wonderful. Wonderful. Yes. So, and sir, uh, sorry, just there's just one more thing. Um, like I had never anticipated I'd get such a rank, and now that I've gotten this rank, people are saying, okay, why don't you take derma? Why don't you get you take radio medicine, yeah. which the rankers always take. So I would like to tell ki jo passion hai, wo usko follow karo. Like abhi bhi mujhe itne sare log bolte ki if you wanted surgery, why did you study so much? Like was the point, but it was never about just studying. Thoda itna pad, hai taki hume ye milna. It's always trying to be the best at what you do. So yeah, I just want to tell people ki agar aise koi matlab uh, pressure dal raha ho, fir bhi you should listen to what your heart says, what you want to do, and yeah, you just do it. You'll you'll be great in that. Very well said. Very well said. So we do you. appreciate the clarity of thought that you are having, Sanskriti, and mm-hmm. I think uh, if if. If even if 10% of it is going to be taken up by the, your juniors really well, they are going to be a very good group of young medicos who are going to be taking care of Indian health. Thank you so much. That means a lot. Thank you, Sanskriti. Thanks a lot for yes. taking the time for talking to us. And I think you made really wonderful uh, comments, gave really wonderful insights. And in fact, the last comment that, you know, sticking to surgery, despite getting a great rank, I mean, that is what takes you, you know, far in your career. Uh, don't pick radiology just because you got a good rank. Uh, stick to what you were always envisioning yourself as. So our Thank blessings you. are always with you. Thank Stay you. connected. Thank you so much. Yes, Keep definitely. planning your juniors and we all are very proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much, Sankriti. And please do convey our 
most sincere most regards to your family members especially to your parents yeah. yes right. thank you thank you so much god bless you bye bye yes bye